What's up Metastars, Saigon Starkai here and welcome back to NBA 2K24. It's time. Alright. Gotta lock in and beat the Grizzlies. Sounds good. And Pete's been on fire since day one. It's like shocking when he misses one. I never see nothing like it. Not since Steph, man. Honestly, I feel for the guy. He's coming into the league with a ton of expectations. It's hard for a young guy. But he's got skill, though. He's going to be all right. All right, bro. Can I play the game? Like... He's on that Steph Curry track. And what I know about him and his work ethic... He's going to, he's going to get there. <sighs> Josh Kitty, Are you fucking serious? I feel like the rest of the league is still trying to get our legs under us, and he's out here setting records. He's making a statement, that's for sure. It's unbelievable. Oh my god, bro. I'm done, bro. Can I just fucking play fucking Memphis now? Bro, we can't lose to Detroit, right? How? Just let me play Memphis, bro. Versus ja, let's get it, kid. Hey, if it isn't Mr. Man, Ja Moran hasn't done shit. He's a good player, but he hasn't done shit besides be uh, a decent player. Like, he's not crazy at, like, everything he does, right? He's not crazy for fucking making three-pointers and whatnot. Right? Like, he's not like Stephen Curry, Prime, or Prime LeBron, or he's not like Prime Jordan, right? He's just playing basketball as it should be played, really. It's all good. Welcome and happy holidays from 2K Sports. It's time for NBA action. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And joining us on the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, <laughs> David Aldridge. So let's take a look at the Toronto Raptors right, starting lineup. Scotty Barnes is out there with RJ Barrett. Then it's MP. Then there's Pirtle. And it's quickly in at the point. And for Memphis. In at the guard spots, Morant and Bain. Then it's Jaron Jackson. And there's Jackson, and it's Stevens in at the four. In this one, guys, MP and John Morant going head to head. And neither will know what to expect, as this will be the first time they've ever played against each other. When it comes to a player that can do it all, a guy that's equipped with insane skills and unbelievable athleticism, that guy is Jean Morant. Competition doesn't get more difficult than this. Definitely going to be oh, terrible. To MP has prepared and gets established offensively and defensively early on. Nearing the midway point of the season now, GA, what do you think is most important for teams to focus on at this point? I think just trying to establish overall continuity. You want to head into the second half of the season with some momentum behind you, as well as just general confidence. Now here's Barnes. This game he had 13. MP you can't block me. Now in the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. When you have vision at the forward spot, it always opens up and elevates a team. Scotty Barnes passing on display. Moran finishes to Jackson. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one on Yaka Pirtle. Doris, we know one thing the Raptors had benefited from was consistent leadership. There's no doubt about that, Kevin. You think about the front office consistency, and success in the NBA generally starts from the top 
and trickles down. You can absorb a coaching change and still have a culture in place because, again, things start at the top. The free throw drops for Jackson. Let him get it. Whatever. I'll score three. It's all good. Jackson hits both of them. A great gritty is a word that is often used to describe the Grizzlies team. And I think it applies to this unit as well. These guys are all tenacious and hungry. They play every game with a healthy ship on their shoulder. They love to compete. Oh. 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 That's his first foul. Second team foul. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. Here's Morant. And the layup is good. And the ready control of Morant. Still able to guide that one home. Quickly the pass to MP. Launches a three. That's good. And he's good on the three ball. MP's got his second bucket of the night. Always a bonus when points come from unlikely sources. And you can see this guy's been working on that shot. Moran passes to Jackson. Back to Moran. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. And I'm amazed that Moran's so good to take contact and still stay in full control. Yo, Ja, watch this. And here's MP for three. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Got it. And he's now three for five from the field. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Morant passes to Bing. And here's Jackson. Bro, stop Bible. running, bro. Unloads. Jackson misses. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. What the fuck? And powering into the first week of the new year, here's a brand new look at the power rankings. You look at the Clippers. They're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And I think for the Raptors, they're still sorting out their roster. Uh, I, got I got him, I got him, I got him. Their full potential in a holding pattern, if you will. And that could change, though, at any moment. Clark, he's checked in for Memphis. Marcus Smart comes in for Jackson. And that one's good. Morant. And guys, we talk all the time about making the extra pass. Clark there proving how important that concept is. MP finds quickly. A three from MP. And again, Toronto with the triple. The real. And we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two. Taking pride and making plays. Now here's Morant. He has seven. And that one drops. How about he has yet to miss 4-4 four, four to start. Astralinic. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. That's pretty good strength by Kelly Olynyk, not letting the contact alter his shot. Pretty good focus. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Both teams will make substitutions. Please tell me he makes this. And that one falls, and that puts him up. That's all I care about, bro. Damn, we're smoking them actually. Low key. <laughs> Telling you. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. And the other thing that's working for them tonight, getting out into the open floor. A lot of the damage coming in transition. They've got Jackson. Smart is out there with Rose. Then it's Brandon Clark. And it's Aldama near the three, the small forward. Miss. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Hey, guys. MP in the last time out against the Cavaliers was all business. He scored 31 points, and as you may have guessed with him, a lot of those were on the three ball. He was a jack of all trades for them. He helped them out in every facet of the game. Back to you guys. 
All right, David, thanks. It's going to be interesting to see how he follows up that performance. Yeah, he was the driving force behind that victory, but each night comes with different challenges. What you love about this guy, though, is even when the defense adjusts to what he's doing, he'll make an adjustment right back. He is always ready with a counter. And here's Rose outside, kept alive. Back to Aldama. Clark finds Aldama. Shoots the three. Jackson misses. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Barnes dishes to MP. On the wing quickly. Guarded by Smart. I'm done passing it quickly, bro. I'm done. Fuck that. I'm only going to pass to Barnes, bro. Franchise like Memphis, is there a specific way they have to build? Through the draft. I mean, they aren't going to get the huge A-list free agents, so you have to hit on your picks. You also have to keep your guys happy. Sign them to smart extensions. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Rose. It to nice. Oh, my God. What agility there. Look how quick Jackson moves after setting the screen. Perfect execution. Here's Olenek. And Oof. by Olenek. Just no chance there for the defense. Major size disadvantage. He's got no business trying to stop that slam. Just get out of the way. Now here's Rose. No scoring in this one. Here's Jackson with the three. Wara grabs the board. Wara's got his sixth rebound on the night. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting nope. the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. Boy, we anticipated a tight battle, and that's exactly what we missed in this first meeting. What a fascinating look into this matchup. Now, MP following the three-point attempt by Derek Rose. I packed past fucking quickly again, bro. The three from MP. Basket is good. The assist from Barnes. MP's got the lead up to 13 now for Toronto. Smart. <sighs> up and in, it's good. First basket of the game for him. One for four shooting. I tell you, that's good defense, but Rose with the better shot-making ability, living it up on the interior. And here's MP for three. Rebounded by Jackson. They're looking to trim the deficit to single digits. Inside. Rose, no good. Nice, nice. I'll tell you, it's been a struggle for him in this period, and they're struggling as a result. Six-second difference between the shot and game clock. To the middle, here's Jackson. He's now made half of those 10 shots in the game. It's his fifth basket. They are just killing him on the interior. Raptors lead by nine. To the paint. They swipe it. And now with the fast break, Smart with the ball. Pull up Jay. And there's Rose on the assist from Smart. Rose has got his second button. Well, Derek Rose, just so confident, so dangerous in catch-and-shoot situations. Boy, has he become a terrific shooter. Quickly the pass to MP. Fires from deep. And buzzer beater. Beats the buzzer. Wow. Yeah, that's just an amazing play to get that ball off in time. Great awareness in crucial situations. Nicely done. And so it's the Toronto Raptors with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after. The Their defense has got a lot better. Capella's an elite rim protector. He rebounds. He runs the floor. His value. <sighs> now let's go over that first half action. Things did not go according to plan for the Memphis Grizzlies. Defensively, they haven't guarded the three-point line at all tonight. And you know they don't want to extend out to the point where they're giving up things inside. But you do have to make some kind of adjustment. Yeah, can't take the same approach and expect a different result. Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Harlan for the start of the second half. Through the first half, plenty of basketball though left in this one. 
You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. Yeah, he's just been raining down on him from deep here. Talk about dialed in. Well, the break certainly didn't have a cooling effect on him at all. He's in a great rhythm, looking comfortable and confident. So the Raptors five right now. Brutal is out there with Scotty Barnes. Then it's Barrett. Then it's MP. And it's quickly in at the point guard. And sports may be the ultimate meritocracy. Does it matter where you're from, uh, Greg, your background? Uh, you got to have game, right? Kevin, it's a beautiful thing. Some players grew up with a father in the NBA. Others were a world away. Either way, when you get here, you know you've earned it. Jackson, a screen on MP. And Pertle nice. Sends it My God. Very hard to get a shot off over Jakob Pertle when he's that tight on you. Too much size, too much length. Over in the corner, Barnes. Back to MP. Pocket six. Takes a three. And the Raptors hit again from deep. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. And I think the defender knows once he gets cooking, look out. The bucket looks awfully big to him right now. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much. Well, John Morant might be right-handed, but he looks to drive left. When he was a kid, he broke his right arm flying off a trampoline. Now that arm is shorter. Actually, that right hand is smaller, too. He says, that's why I dribble with my left hand. I'm able to control the ball better. In my head, I think I'm left-handed. Back to you. <laughs> Trade secrets, right, David? Hey, thanks for the report. So, timeout called here. The first for Memphis. Now let's take a look at the top rookies in the league. Our rankings here for the race for Rookie of the Year. Each and every young player would love to have. You look at MP. He's been a big-time contributor for his team so far. And you know, we're right in the thick of the season, and he's one back of the top spot. And with more or less a half a season behind us, he has shown what unlimited potential he has. Well, one thing we can be sure of, what a race it's going to be for Damn. rookie of the year over the second half of this season. I can't wait. Just a solid performance. Get that, get that, get that. The rebounding has been off the charts. And let's take a peek at the players contending for a spot in the dunk contest this year. Each and every one of these guys can do amazing things around the bucket. And they will. Uh, I guarantee you that we're going to see things in this year's contest that we've never seen before. Those fellas have some tricks up their sleeve for sure. And you look at Jackson. Some might say he's a long shot at this point, but you never know. Hey, stranger things have happened, and, and we'll just have to wait and see. And as always, we'll keep the updates coming in as we get closer to All-Star Weekend. One thing we already know, there are some great players pulled in boats so far. Nice. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that this is going to be one of those dunk contests that everybody's going to be tuning into. The Grizzlies trail by 21. Morant looking around. What the hell? Why did my fucking grade go down so much? I wasn't even guarding him. Okay, I kind of was. I'm not gonna lie. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Raptors have gone four for four from the field since the halftime break. Terrific start to the third quarter. And here's MP for three. And again, Toronto with the triple. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowing. Two minutes remaining in the third. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. It's good. Why did that go down? I was getting guarded, bro. But the teammates, he's just not getting a lot of support from them. Quickly kicks to Pirtle. Passes it to MP. A three. That's good. Connects again from distance. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. And so Morant will bring it up for Memphis. Takes a shot at the elbow. Morant with another miss. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Back to MP. From deep. Oof. Here's Pirtle. 
And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. This team loves it when Pirtle can make an impact on the offensive glass. There's a lot of ways he can get his points, but this is an easy one. It's Morant in the corner over Barnes. And it's Morant that time on the assist by Jackson. 15 points for John Morant. And it's the Raptors ball. They're on a 19 to 6 run. Yo, guard this man. Right here, guard this. MP against Morant. And the basket by MP. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now, here's Bain. Still yet to score. Jackson misses. <laughs> Still yet to score. Barnes kicks to MP. From downtown. And Bain pulls it down. The shot and game clock separated by four. Morant with a wide open look. Rebound by the Raptors. Barnes has got six rebounds in the game. This is to MP. Jacks up a three. Oof. And the rebound Damn it. by Sharon Jackson. Okay, it's still a third quarter, though. This one for three. Morant with the bucket. Morant's got nine points now in just the second hit. And so it's MP making things happen for the Raptors. Oh, my God, bro. Piling in the points. He dictated the pace of the entire. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. Don't care. Yeah, Let's I'm go. Glad this was the So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Stevens is checked in. Jackson comes in for Santi Aldama. Baines checked in for John Concha. And it's Morant in for Marcus Smart. The Raptors also with a sub. MVs checked in. In at the guard spots. Morant Damn it. And Bain. And there's Jackson. And there's Jackson. And it's Stevens in at the four-man position. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. Yo, can we? Now, here's Morant for three. Jackson kicks to Bain. Jackson with it. He's picked up by Dick. Here's Morant. Oh. Why didn't he fucking block that shit, man? He's like fucking seven foot. Toronto, they've gone five of ten, fifty percent from the field. Fuck it. MP, that's for two. Rebounded by Jackson. For Memphis, they've gone two of seven from the field in what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. Steffens can't get it to go. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. A three from MP. Ah, uh, B minus, nice. Memphis has gotten off to an 0 for two start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. And it's Morant missing. And it's the Raptors ball. They've got a 12-2 run in progress. Can you move, bro? Morant against MP. Connects from three-point range. <laughs> MP's got 40 points. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point. Doesn't block him, block him, block him. This motherfucker won't block him, man. Why isn't he blocking him? Three-pointer. Oof. Grizzlies with the rebound. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say <laughs> mission accomplished now for the Raptors. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, I, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution. B minus, man, I can't. Players, everything was just on target. And an important milestone for them tonight as they pick up win number 10. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first. Oh, Lord. And set the tone. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for MP. Oh, shit. What a relentless scoring night for this guy in attack mode all evening. And here's MP for three. And Desmond Bain pulls it down. Oh, he made that. And then Moran slams it in. Yeah, that's fire right there. Moran practicing for the dunk contest. I 
see you, young fella. Shot and game clock separate. Do you see him? And again for three. Hey, three guys, points. this is a historic shooting night for him. Tied for third now. Most threes in a game. Ah, uh, the points, GA, just keep piling up in the... Oh! Oh! He was running. You knew he was aiming to shatter the rim. The three. Ha! Oh, I should have held on a little longer. By Jackson. It's over. Morant outside, and so Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin, to come into an opponent's building and dominate the. It's okay. John Moran couldn't handle me. <laughs> Great win. Keep pushing. Quest failed. Oh my God. How many more minutes? Oh, I got plenty of time, bro. <laughs> okay, let's play the Kings. Why not? We ain't lighting the beam tonight, MP. No, sir. There's the man of the hour. Go get him, MP. Oh shit. Damn it. I was close to finishing it. Atmosphere inside the building as we bring you Friday night basketball on 2K Sports. Welcome everyone. Courtside with two ex NBA stars, Grant Hill and Brent Berry. I'm Brian Anderson. We've got Ali LaForce on the sidelines tonight as well. So let's take a look at the starters for the Toronto Raptors. RJ Barrett out there with Barnes. Then there's Jakob Pertl, then there's Gary Trent, and it's MP in at the one. And for Sacramento, Murray and Sabonis are the bigs. Fox and Herter man the guard spots, and it's Dorte in at the small forward. But connects again MP. from distance. Three and for this franchise now. He's hit the most threes in a single season. His incredible range stretches out the defense on a nightly basis. It's an invaluable element to this offense. All right, folks, get your running shoes on. Both of these teams want to push the pace. Oh, that they do. Pace, pace, pace. And as a fan, I just love these types of matchups. It's so much fun to see these teams get up and down the floor, play with pace, and have fun. I'm excited for this one. Here's Herter. Banked it in off the glass. Well, Herter also comfortable getting physical and scoring against the defense, not just showing that he shoots it. MP against Fox. Ah. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. You'd like to see more effective ball movement there. Maybe they can find a way to establish some rhythm in the next few possessions with the extra pass. Pass to Murray. Into the lane. Herter from long range. Nails it from beyond the arc. Herter's got his second basket on the night. Good sign for this team as Murray looking more comfortable moving that ball. From deep, MP. Oh, again, Toronto with a triple. 
Oh, you gotta love the back and forth, showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the What are you doing? Line and trying to take advantage from distance. And it's Fox missing. Toronto has gone three of three from outside and looking sharp here in the first. And the league's longest playoff drought was snapped last season by Sacramento. Like the beam, Brent. Sweet, sweet relief, BA. First postseason for the Kings since 2006. God, and they did it in such convincing fashion. I mean, these guys weren't coming in as if they had no chance. They came in confident and hungry, and they want to get back. Sabonis finds Fox. When you talk about raw speed and quickness, no one better than De'Aaron Fox. B.A., if we went into the locker room and looked at the dry erase board, the number one thing up there on the scouting report is beware of De'Aaron Fox in the open court. Such a tremendous finisher and such a great attacker of the basket. Free throws good for Fox. So much talk about who's the fastest player in the league. And Fox always being mentioned there. His speed and stepping into this leadership role. Lots of great signs from De'Aaron Fox. And here's MP from outside. Drills it from deep. MP's got 12. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Here's Fox. Sacramento nice. again missing. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. And here's MP. Oh. Damn it. By Fox. And so it's Fox with it. He'll bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. Trailing by five. Their last game, a win against the Magic. Looking to carry it into this one. And in that one, the bench came to play. Gave the team a bunch of points and energy to put them over the top. Well, I talked to the assistant coaching staff. What they were talking oh. about is that the bench God, bro. came in and played well. So punch off the bench. A big factor in that win. Left side, Murray. Clock at six. Two minutes remaining in the Murder against Trent from outside the arc. And there's Murray. That one's good. And the assist by Herder. And that's what Murray does best. Spot up and knock it down. From deep, MP. Good. Another MP. from three. Three. And that last three now ties him for the franchise record for most in a season. You know he's looking for that next one. You talk about being locked in all year long. Next one sets the franchise record. What a season it's been for him. The awareness of Fox starting to come through here. You sag off him for a little bit. Sticks to jump. Connects again from distance. And he shattered the franchise's single season high for three-pointers made. Getting them up and connecting with high volume. He's been a flamethrower all year long. Well, the precision with which MP shoots that thing seems supernatural. But it's all the result of long hours and a lot of reps behind the scenes. Okay. Wow, five consecutive threes. This defense looking very frustrated right now. <laughs> Sacramento calls timeout. Oh. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. So for Toronto right now, they've got Emmanuel quickly. Scotty Barnes is out there with Kelly Olynyk. Then there's Gary Trent, and it's MP in at the point guard position. Sacramento has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Well, MP in the last matchup against the Grizzlies was simply terrific. He added 43 points, and a total like that was good enough to mark his high for the season. So when you look at all of that, it was obviously just a great night for him, playing with a ton of heart. Back to you guys. It really was some night for him. He couldn't have been much better, Grant. Yeah, B.A., there was nothing they could do to contain him. Once he got rolling, it was game on. And sometimes you can just look at a guy and you see the confidence that he's playing with. That's what I like best. Mitchell, the pass to Sabonis. Over Olenek. Sabonis can't hit. And even though he couldn't send the shot back at him, he certainly altered it. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Oh. 
Yeah, that was questionable. For Sacramento, they've gone one for six in the second quarter. Not great. Right wing. Pass to Sabonis. Here's Lyles. Uses the glass to finish the layup. A defensive lapse. Can't give him that kind of position. Yeah, how do you let him get a lounge chair down there and be comfortable in the paint like that? And Brent, talking about Davion Mitchell, there's no question this guy has talent. Yeah, the reputation is all about that defense, the way he's able to get up into guys. But B.A., there's other contributions that Davion's going to need to make. More consistent from the outside and better decisions with the basketball. And he'll get there. Ellis passes to Mitchell. Just five on the clock over MP. That one rolls around and rims out. He lacks defense there. He's going to see fewer and fewer chances if he can't bury those kind of jumpers. Pass to Trent. Here's MP. God damn it. Oh, That's a B minus nice now. Nice, man. Sacramento has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Here's Lyles. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Here's Lyles, guarded by Quickly. Out to Sabonis. Puts up a three. Rebound by Olenek. Olenek's got four rebounds now. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. And here's MP from outside. Oh, How? Man, How? Something's off about him this no, time. it's not me, bro. It's the fucking game. I fucking hit that. Body language, and you just don't want to see that. Lyles, the pass to Ellis. Outside for Mitchell. Here's Lyles. Again, the miss by the Kings. Yeah, you know, he usually makes you pay from that range. MP outside. Three-pointer. Oh, another miss. <sighs> Getting good looks on the floor, but he simply cannot bury anything right now. He's got to stay confident, though, because everyone knows he can hit those shots. Thank you. Oof. Got it. To win the cold God. <laughs> He's cold from distance here in the second quarter. May want to try a different approach moving forward. Again, the miss by the Kings. Toronto has gone just one of six from the perimeter here in the second. Barnes, it's good. Like how selfless quickly was on that play, just creating team offense. <laughs> like, God, man. Pass to Ellis. Fires the three. Can't hit that one. And so it's Toronto in a good situation, up by 13 points to close the quarter. They've done well to disrupt the opposition, playing inspired defense. And don't go far. We'll be right back. I really don't care what these guys have to say to me, these fucking old heads, bro. Well, watch out, y'all. <sighs> Better get those fans in the front row, some ponchos, baby. And the next order of business, seeing which players are in the running for a spot in this season's. Appreciate you joining it. Bro, the Kings suck. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Hey, you look at MP in this game. He's been everywhere. Through the first two quarters and change, his perimeter shooting continues to be spot on. Yeah, you would hope the defense at least would start to consider creeping up on him just a little bit. We always see trends come and go in the NBA, Graham. It seems like in the current era, the pick and roll is the go-to offensive set. Oh, no question, B.A. To be competitive these days, you have to be able to run the pick and roll very, very well. And that's why lead guard play is so important right now in the league. Fox and Herter man the guard spots. Murray and Sabonis are the bigs. And it's Dorte in at the small forward position. That's the group starting the second half for Mike Brown. From deep, it's MP good. buries it from three. MP. MP's got 27 points. MP, he's got it all, putting it on display here tonight. MP against Fox. Pass to Sabonis. Over Pirtle. Shots good by Sabonis. 
Sabonis has gotten his second bucket. Now, what a great option he gives them on every possession. Launches a three, and again for and three. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable, B.A., unbelievable. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Fox steady in traffic and a reliable shooter. Not as reliable as me. And here's MP from outside. Sacramento grabs the miss. You know, Brent, one thing about DeMontis Sabonis <sighs> definitely helps their offensive flow. Yeah, he's one of the better screeners in the league. And you know this, Grant. Those dribble handoff plays create so much movement, space, and rhythm to an offense. That's where Sabonis really excels. Here's MP. Down low, MP, MP. drops it in. And not wasting any time here, kicking their offense right back in the gear. That's three of four from the field. Sabonis, the pass to Fox. And it's Fox with the jam. If you leave someone open on a team with Sabonis having the ball, he's going to make you pay. That's great recognition. Barrett. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got eight rebounds in the game. First personal foul. First team foul. So the Kings making a change here. Ellis has checked in. Number 23. Keogh. The Kings have gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. Fox against MP. From deep. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Barnes has got four rebounds now. And yeah, the three-pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Fox against MP. Sabonis outside. Fox outside. Let's the three fly. He buries it from three. Fox has got nine points here in the second half. After a brutal first half. Damn it. Oh, that still made it somehow. <laughs> defense showing no desire to chase shooters off that line pass to Sabonis Herder against Barrett and here's Fox Sabonis right side over Pirtle the bank shot no good and so MP will bring it up for the Raptors. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Well, Demonis. Good! Another from three. Three points. And this is a historic shooting night for him. Tied for third now for most threes in a game. And the points keep piling up and the threes keep dropping in. He is red hot from downtown. Timeout call, Sacramento. Oh my god. A big group something. Substituting on the court. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. The three. The rebound by Murray. The Kings have got five of six shots to go in the fourth. So for the Raptors right now, Jakob Pertl out there with Barnes. Then it's R.J. Barrett. Then it's M.P. And it's Dick in a two guard. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. They're finding a rhythm from the line as they try to cut into this deficit. At the line for your Kings. Bro, Sabonis is fucking trash right now. How much has this man scored? The first one falls. Sabonis is a guy you have to watch closely in terms of how relentless he is. Trying to get in there, mix it up, play physical. He just never stops fighting. The Raptors making a switch here. Trent's checked in. The Raptors with a lead. Now here's MP. The three ball. Oof. The shot comes out. And pushing it up. Here's Sacramento. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. 
Barrett against Murray. Bro. Pass to MP. The three is up. Offensive rebound. It's because he's guarding me, bro. And that's a backbreaker for the defense. I mean, offensive boards like that run momentum against you. Yeah, that pops your confident balloon out there, just completely deflating when plays like that happen. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific mood right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. And how aggressive has he been on the offensive end? Over half the team's points have been his. Fox against MP. No good that time. No need to rush here. Take your time. Take your time. This is where you can reset Damn it. and try to get a good shot. And he's doing things on the glass tonight that we don't often see. Well, this kind of effort will energize the team and get you going. Just gobbling up every board. Fox, that's good. Pretty much all you can do on defense there. De'Aaron Fox, great poise in the painted area. It's Barrett on the wing. Pass to MP. Takes the three. No good there. Boy, I'd love to see him just get a smidge closer to the basket. Once he sees a few shots go in from there, that might open up everything from distance. Or well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. And the Raptors miss again. And so here's Sacramento. Eight-point game. And there's Herter. That's good on the assist from Fox. That's a crucial basket and Herter big time. Oh my God. An intentional foul. First personal foul. Fifth team foul. Shooting for Toronto. Why is it shaking? At the line for two. Oh, the first of two, no good. A heartbreaker. Yeah, what you like about MP is how hard he worked to put himself in a position for success. And the second of two is good. And that makes it a seven-point lead. Timeout call. Sacramento. They're down by seven. They lost, bro. 41 <laughs> seconds left in the fourth quarter. Fucking lost. Screen on MP. That's Damn. Ooh, excellent D there from Barnes. Pass to MP. That's not good. That's good. There it is. A shot that puts him tied at the top of the record books. And he just can't be denied from deep. Now he's tied for most threes in a single game. Amazing. And all those hot shooting performances from Klay Thompson, this night belongs right there with him. Good! Another from three. And that is a three that will put him in the record books. Oh, an historic performance by an historic shooter. One of the best games anybody has ever had. 15 threes for MP. Passing that record from Klay Thompson back in 2018. An all-time performance, and we're lucky to see this. A scintillating performance by MP, and we've got a chance to hear what he has to say. Oh, I get to talk? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You did it. You did it. Appreciate you. Hey. Hey. Yes, sir. Thank y'all. Thank you. Wow. Uh Uh, this is crazy. Uh, I didn't know they had stopped the game for this. Uh, but anyway, we still got a game to win. So I don't want to say too much and jinx anything. But uh, we won, bro. My family, my coaches, my teammates, the fans. Thank y'all and all the great shooters who came before me. Clay, uh, Steph, Ray Allen, my boy Dane, uh, Harden. You know, someone's probably going to break this record a week from now. But in the meantime, hey, thank you. It's an honor. Thank you. All. 
A clearly grateful MP. Sounds like he can't believe it himself. It's an astonishing accomplishment. In a league full of skilled shooters, he's now up there with the best. Goddamn right. Seven seconds left to play in the fourth. Goodbye. Fires from way outside. Can't connect. So it's the Raptors winning this one easily. Exceptional effort on the road. Thank they were you, ready and they were focused. Focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. And that's going to do it tonight, folks. I'm here with MP, who has just set the record for the most three pointers in a single game. MP, first of all, tremendous performance. Thanks, Jamila. Now, when did you realize that breaking this record might be a possibility? Uh, honestly, I started thinking about it this morning. Went through my usual pregame routine and didn't miss a shot. I mean, not one shot. So that's when I thought, yeah, uh, I might have something special cooking. So what's next for you after performance like this? Get that ring. You know, same thing I always do. Get back in the gym, uh, do some film work, rest and recovery. You know, come out ready for the next one. Sounds good, MP. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Love to see it. Cooking for the Raptors. 50 points. Not bad. Not bad at all. Damn, I cooked the fucking Grizzlies. And I cooked the fucking Kings, bro. I know. Bro, I'm not trying to watch what Josh Kitty has to say, bro. Alright, play the Warriors next. Okay. You've now officially had the best rookie season in history oh, from behind the arc. How have you been able to find success so quickly? Um, I'm lucky because I got to grow up seeing firsthand what it takes to be an NBA player. So when I came into the league, I already knew how much hard work, uh, dedication, understanding, and appreciation of the game that was necessary to be successful. Um, I also knew that if I was going to find a place in this league, I needed to be successful from long range. Watching Keegan Murray a couple years back gave me a sense of what was possible as a rookie. So uh, I set that goal for myself and spent a lot of time working on my mechanics, analyzing film, and just shooting over and over and over again. Okay, well, I broke my own record, so I think it's time to call a, call it a video. Thanks for watching, guys.